Daylight's End is again one of these movies on the list that I'm watching of in October where it's pretty dull and okay throughout the whole movie. I do like the main character and slash protagonist. That's a badass, yo. The first suit we've seen of him, he like takes out this fridge, like ties it to a car, drives it out, shoots the locker or the lock off of it with 100% accuracy. I was like, okay, you know, Leon Kennedy or Chris Redfield or whatever. I immediately thought of like Resident Evil, but you know, there's a zombie in there. This shot of this burnt zombie, I feel like was held on for far too long. She starts screaming and like she starts burning because of you know a fridge or whatever but okay this shot's going on for way too long but it was still cool very cool opening scene and then obviously with the zombie apocalypse thing going on there's good and bad people arguably bad people are way worse than zombies humans themselves because of survival uh instincts and whatnot but this group of bandits or whatever they like ambush these people driving a cop car and then our main guy who i don't remember his goddamn name but i'm calling badass guy he killed most of them except for this one guy leaves them there to rot and be eaten by zombies he sees uh this woman and this other woman who has a baby doll she's crazy the, the later woman the second woman but yeah and then this first lady is like hey we have you know people with survivals you know we have electricity food everything and you know he's really reluctant but he's like okay sure i'll go because i'm a badass right that's how by the way that's how i just thought about him the whole time just badass i just i don't know his name sorry about that but you know he goes there it kind of plays out like the typical not typical but like and i feel like in every or most zombie movies this is one scene where one of the members are bitten they have to like kill themselves or sacrifice themselves same here with this movie there's like a this father he got bit on his forearm and you know he doesn't want to turn so he has one of the many people in this like place that they're at i forgot even the place to shoot him yeah, so he takes his son away. One of the women takes his son away. I think it's his wife. And, you know, one very, you know, boss of steel guy just comes up and shoots him in the head. And, you know, one of those things like, okay, it's got to be one of these things in every zombie movie, you know? <laughs> it's just got to. So, yeah, do more and more just shooting. Honestly, after that scene, I kind of zoned out because our main guy, he's just too much of a badass. Like, there's a one, board, one point where he gets hurt, but, I mean, come on. He's, like, killing people like zombies left and right, so... He's a good marksman. But yeah, I don't know. Like, he, they just go around looking around the city, killing some more zombies, maybe run into one or two bad guys, and I don't know. Just more stuff like that. But uh, what's the ending? I forgot the ending. Let me check. I completely forgot. I don't know. Oh, shit. I actually don't know. Hold on. One got scene? I don't know. Basically, movie ends with him. I I'm assuming. I'm trying to remember. Of him. He's back behind and running away i don't know movie's kind of forgettable and okay honestly next day 13 october 13th will be spiders 3d really looking forward to this one hoping that it's a fun and bad i repeat bad movie 